Whoa, snapping turtle. <laughs> All right, so I'm getting baited up right now and I'm actually not going crabbing until the day after tomorrow, but somebody was going to grab some bait. So I was just like, go ahead and grab me a basket while you're in there. So that's what I'm doing now, getting everything all nice and baited up so that hopefully I can catch a couple when I go day after tomorrow. And that's one of my prototypes right there. So, I mean, these bags have caught, I'm pushing 35 bushel now. So, you know, check out uh, trotline.com if you're interested in this or that or, you know, I do all kinds of stuff. You got a question, ask. All right, getting ready to go ahead and get out on this water. It is pretty guys done early. I'm just going to go ahead and get my lines and throw them all in the boat and go on down and see what I can catch, you know, trying to catch these, uh, these good crabs today. So we'll see what happens. Um, I'm trying totally new spot. You know, I haven't tried this year and I, I didn't even hit it last year, to be honest with you, maybe once or twice. I didn't hit it hard, you know, so I have no clue what's going to happen. All right, rolling right along here. I've got a really long trip, so, you know, gonna burn a lot of gas getting where I'm going, but hopefully it'll be worth it. I don't know. All right, it's a little bit after 530. I've got all my gear in the water. When I, in my old videos, I used to crab this spot and I'd run about half the line because I was just pretty much messing around. Now I got twice that much line out now, so we'll see what, uh, I mean, I should catch like twice as many crabs as I used to, if they're even here, in here yet. You know, it's hard to tell. I mean, you run twice the line, I mean, you're pretty much collecting compound crab inches, you know, when you run more lines. So it's just, the system, I mean, it, it's great. <laughs> I couldn't do this without it. There's no way I wouldn't have the time. So all right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hop on this first line, and hopefully there's something. I don't know if there's anything in here. I have no idea. The tide's all the way up right now. So I'm going to be fishing, you know, slack tide. Calling it slack tide, but it's tied all the way up, slack tide. It's not going to be moving the first two rounds, two, three rounds, not going to be moving right. And today is supposed to be a, so I'll be fishing the outgoing tide all day. And it's supposed to be like a 97 tidal coefficiency, which is really freaking high. You know, outgoing tide. You know, we'll see what happens. Um, hopefully they're in here. You know, I don't know. I, I see a whole bunch of, uh, you know, I see the a bunch of water breaks, like them little ones, you know, that you don't really know what the heck it is unless you're a marine biologist or whatever. So usually that's a good sign, you know, whatever the heck those are. The freaking water's not, um, I don't got algae bloom or nothing back here. You know, sometimes you get that algae bloom, you freaking run up in three foot of water, It'll push the crabs in that shoal water, which makes absolutely no sense. But some, I don't know, that's just a little trick I learned, you know, a few times when I had to deal with that. So anyway, yeah, and it's supposed to be a, um, it did, we didn't get a lot of rain here. I mean, that had me really worried that we were gonna have a whole bunch of rain and really mess everything up. I mean, that would've screwed me, we didn't get it. So, pretty optimistic, but who knows, you know, it's been a late season. But the last couple weeks, had some really warm days. It kind of warms everything up real, real freaking quick. Especially those overnight real warm times. Like, you know, when you don't get that bounce down, that water temperature can stay up and warm up quick and salt line will start moving up real quick. And, you know, you'll be right how you are now. Springtime should be on crabs. <laughs> we'll see though. I'm gonna go ahead and run this first line, see what happens. And if you're commercial crabbing, you ain't doing it right if you ain't worried about how up to date your tetanus shot is before 6 a.m. All right, even though the tide's not moving, I'm still gonna film this first run because I'm feeling pretty optimistic that I laid this son of a gun right on top of a couple, couple nice ones. But we'll see. Good. There's something. 
I had no idea if there was anything. Oh yeah, nice one. Good. There's something in here. Now is there enough to sustain me through the day? Hopefully they're all along it. And not just at that beginning. Nice crab. All right. <clears throat> All right, so my first run on that short line got one, two, three, four, got half a dozen nice hard number ones and one, you know, it's a little bit, a little bit light. So it wasn't too bad, but I'm calling tight in here. You know, this, the crabs here are a little bit harder a little bit smaller, but they're a little bit harder than where I was crabbing last week. You know, it takes a couple more to fill up a basket, but they are slightly harder and just a little bit smaller. But they're still big, huge, nice, beautiful crabs, you know. <laughs> like, there's a nice crab. So I'll go ahead and film this next run, too, because this next line hopefully will do all right. See how this guy does. If that one did that, this one should do slightly better because it's about twice as long of a line. Usually there's one on this end, that's not good. Sometimes this line does crap. Sometimes it does really good. Looks like one's coming. Better be. Either that or I got a snag. Or a snapping turtle. Nice one, real nice one. Mm. Beautiful crab. I 
uh, if this holds up, should have a pretty good day. Especially once that tide gets rolling. These guys, I just laid pretty much right on top of them, for sure. This one's a little looser than I like, but and it'll keep getting looser as that tide goes out. One coming. One coming. I see that line dropping. There he is. Another one. Big one. Mm. Jesus. Wow. Big old white looks like. I'll check it. Might be good. Nice one. Mm. Oh, great. Somebody left their freaking snap trap. Oh, God. One dropped off. <sighs> yep. Pretty much every recreational crabber cost commercial crabber money every single day. They're all on this, that's good. A lot of times this end won't do a whole lot. I'll go ahead and film the first run on all my lines. I should maybe tighten this one up a little bit, but after I run it, what I'll do is I'll show you with the chain how I tighten, tighten them up a little bit. As long as you keep running the same way, it'll, um, you know, it'll generally hold a little bit of tightness. Like I've got this one just a tiny bit too loose. I always like to try to do them a little bit too tight because it's so easy to loosen them up. A lot harder to tighten them. They're all on here. That's good. Wow. <clears throat> See with this chain, I'll just kind of keep it on my roller for a second. Just kind of come this way with it a little bit 
and kind of give it a little bit of an angle right there around my outside roller thing and then pop it off right there and it'll it'll slightly tighten your line a little bit so that's that run wow cool all right so on that run got 18 coming up on a quarter basket here and two runs so not bad jump on these other two lines i haven't even checked yet i'll go ahead and film both those too well one of my buoys sunk so <laughs> That's not good. All right. I guess I'll just have to run it the other way. I did not want to run this this way. This is really going to mess me up. Like really bad. Like this is not cool. For this lay to work, I've kind of got to run it the other way. Otherwise, I've kind of got a little bit of a... I lay this and run it so that it, it has a little bit of curvature to it. And I can't keep that curvature in it and keep it tight running it this direction. It just don't work out right. I mean, it's doable, but. The good thing is, these are the lays I had the least optimism about. Freaking nothing on this one. Hmm. They should be on this other end, but. A little bit early for this lay. And the line I have in here is a little bit longer than I'd like. It doesn't fit quite right. That's why I had that curve in it. Try to compensate for the line being a little bit too long for this lay. But... Yeah, if I want to crab this lay, I'm going to have to <clears throat> shorten this line or do something different. Nice one. Nice and rusty. Let's see if I can't dry my buoy out. There's a the problem right there. Mm. That ain't gonna fix real easy. I do have an idea though. These old buoys, God. Everything I had on them washed off. I can't MacGyver this guy real quick. 
They might come on this one later. Who knows? Hopefully that'll be enough so I can at least, it'll hold it up enough to see it. Alright, let's try this other short one. Sometimes it does really freaking good. Sometimes it does absolutely nothing. Sometimes it helps if you get your line on the roller. Just sometimes. After seeing that line now, this is pretty close to it. The last one, I don't have too high hopes for this one. Something. Six and hard. Should be right around here. Whoa, snapping turtle. <laughs> I knew there was something on there. It's still a little bit scary when those freaking snap turtles come up on your line though. And that'll also explain why there's no crabs over here. To some extent. Possibly. You got all that predatory marine life not good for catching crabs okay nice one little baby short line doing much better than that freaking long one I just ran it's crazy So a whole round that time. Yep, there's my buoy there. Kind of see it. Should be good enough to run it.
good but um yeah all my rounds first round tide's starting to move out now so that's good uh got you know over 30 crabs so nice crabs real nice crabs so i can't complain too much go ahead and get some baskets filled up now that little uh bottle i put on there it brought my buoy up just enough so i can get on it on this end and run it the way i want to run it all right and so far i got about two-thirds of a basket of good ones a few little bit of junk the quality is actually increasing as that tide's moving so i'm good hop on this one it's um what time is it it's almost seven so not not too bad all right it's a little bit after eight and i just topped off my first bushel here nice beautiful crabs so i'm gonna go ahead and keep on knocking at them see if i can't get another half basket or so all right it's getting up on nine o'clock now and i mean the quality i didn't think it could get much better than what i was doing last week but this is much better <laughs> like, you know i don't know if it's this area or if everything's kind of hardened up you know for a week or what but really good crabs a little bit after 10 o'clock and i've got all my gear in the boat and ended up with basket and a half of good ones a little piece of uh twos and a little bit lighter crabs so all in all you know not not bad i mean i definitely know where i could have went and done at least a little bit better but you know not the most ideal spot, but it works. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.